Good evening, and it's the show Turning the Tables. And tonight we're paying tribute to the band The Residents, formed around 1972 in northern Louisiana and moved out to California at some point and recorded a lot of records. They're still active today. As I'm recording this in early 2019, we lost one of the founding members of the residence, Mr. Hardy Fox, uh, the chief composer, it can now be told, I think, um, of the residence, passed away this year. And so this show's for you, Hardy. You've given me a lot of inspiration and joy over the years, as with a lot of other musicians and producers and songwriters. Uh, They were a big inspiration as I was growing up and on into my youth in my 20s and 30s when I was doing an awful lot of work in different bands. Anyway, tonight is all residence for one whole hour, and uh, we just heard the song Good Lovin' from Third Reich and Roll, their second record, and now we're going to launch into a whole bunch more goodies from the wide and varied career of the band The Residence. Inside, you want to be free, love everybody, and you feel like you're supposed to <laughs> embrace them. But uh, at the same time, there's that other side of you is like, that's not me, that's not my people, I don't want to be that. And so you end up saying, well, I guess I'm not a good hippie or something. At the same time, San Francisco is beautiful, and uh, there was nothing to go back to, so you stay. From their point of view, they saw that starting with the psychedelic era, which is kind of their entry point into music of that contemporary period, entering into it from that point, if it just kept going out, the boundaries between music and sound experimentation were gonna become more and more blurred. And that's kind of the wave that they imagined that they would ride. Good evening and welcome back to the show Turning the Tables. We're here with our one hour tribute to the wonderful band The Residents. Real quickly going backwards, we just heard Floyd, and before that a short vocal snippet with two of The Residents speaking, and before that, Summertime, Beyond the Valley of a Day in the Life, Would We Be Alive, Picnic Boy, The Making of a Soul, Handful of Desire, Kalija, and we let off with Good Lovin', and now we're gonna swing right back into it try and cover as much ground with the resident's vast career as we can. The Cryptic Corporation's job really was to exploit what it was that they did so that they would continue to have income and resources to, to do it. They would have been happy to have silk screened every cover and do like 50 of each album, but you can't really make a living doing that. The philosophy from the beginning was you don't have to know how to do it You just have to figure out what to do next. And it's okay to make a mistake. Because if you guess wrong on what to do next, you step back and then you try to take the appropriate step. And it worked. To the extent that it worked, it worked. (laughs) The whole eyeball thing was a godsend because the residents needed to look like something. We needed pictures. People were wanting pictures. Doesn't matter what it is, it just needs to look the same. So it's like people point, say, oh, well, that's that. I recognize that. This is marketing. This isn't like art. This is marketing. Both of them, the silver globe and the eyeball, are a reflection. The silver globe is a direct reflection, but the eyeball is a reflection in that it sends out the message that we are looking back at you. And so many people don't get anything out of the presence, don't understand it, are even horrified by it or truly deeply dislike it, that when somebody does understand it, there's a certain sense that it's almost like family. The Residence, yes, a whole hour of The Residence that we have enjoyed tonight on the show, turning the tables in honor of Hardy Fox, who uh, composed most of this material. And uh, going backwards, we just heard swastikas on parade, an excerpt from that side of the third Reich and Roll record. Uh, Before that, a vocal snippet from the Hardy Fox himself. Uh, Then there was a bit of the record Discomo. And before that, another vocal clip with a couple of residents in it. Uh, Before that, the song Plants, Amber, 
Walter Westinghouse, You, Yes, 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 another vocal snippet from the film Theory of Obscurity, and we let off this half hour with a bit of the John Philip Sousa side uh, from the American Composers series. And we're going to go out with a wonderful cut from the commercial album called Moisture with the wonderful Snake Finger on it. Good old Snakey. I'd like to do a whole show focusing on Snake Finger someday. This has been Turning the Tables. You're listening to WART 95.5 FM, the voice of Madison County, Western North Carolina. And we invite you to stay tuned for more incredible music and fine local programming. Your host, Drew, signing off and reminding you, until I see you next time, take care of each other.